A six-year longitudinal study of couples predicted the likelihood of divorce by observing just the first three minutes of their conflict discussion. What was discovered and how can you avoid that? That's what we're going to talk about today on Relation Shots. Hey, welcome to Relation Shots. If this is your first time hanging out with us, make sure you download the free guide to intimacy. You'll see a link in the description area below, help you evaluate four areas of intimacy in your relationship and gives you some ideas on how to get more connected in those areas. Listen, if communication is something you struggle with in your marriage, and if you're married, then you struggle with communication because uh, we all do at times. Anyway, I'm doing a live free masterclass around communication just an hour long that will give you some tools on how to avoid some things and how to implement some things that will greatly improve communication, connection, and intimacy in your relationship. You'll see some links in the description area below to sign up for that as well. Would love to see you there. Listen, it seems a little crazy to me that with over 80% accuracy that you could predict the likelihood of whether a couple would be together or divorced six years down the road simply by observing the first three minutes of a discussion they have around a conflict issue, but that's exactly what researcher Dr. John Gottman found as he studied couples over the years. And so what happened here is generally the idea is this, the way you start a conversation often is the way a conversation ends. And so as he observed couples, couples that started conversations with a lot of negative emotion, with a lack of positivity, generally tended to end the conversations with either the same or worse tension in their relationship. And so what he came up with was what he calls the soft startup, which is a way to avoid exactly this, learning how do we start a conflict conversation? Because the reality is we're all going to have issues in marriage. We're all going to have legitimate complaints in our marriages because our spouse is not like us, doesn't think like us, uh, disagrees with us, often lets us down, and has different perspectives on probably most everything in life than you do. Because of this, we're going to have complaints, we're going to have issues. But how you bring those up means everything. And the couples that don't do that well are the couples that end up divorced. The couples that do that well are the couples that end up thriving. So I want to give you three keys to what John Gottman calls the soft startup to help you better engage in those difficult conflict conversations. So a soft startup is simply this, that you begin a conversation with a complaint without the presence of blame or attack or negative emotion, because as soon as you do that, that's usually what is responded back to you and the conversation escalates and goes sideways. So three keys to a soft startup. Number one are complain, don't blame. Again, Complaints are legitimate. We all have legitimate complaints in our marriages. Things that our spouse maybe has agreed to do and then doesn't do. Issues that are causing us pain, that are causing frustration. And so we have to have the ability to bring an issue up, a complaint, without blaming, attacking, or accusing the other person. For instance, blame looks like this. You were supposed to clean the kitchen. It's still a mess. Why don't you ever do what you say you're going to do? right? There's a lot of blame in that as opposed to there's still some dishes on the counter that are messy and we agreed that you would take care of this. Could you please take care of it? Now that looks like some subtle difference, but often when we begin with I statements or we statements rather than you statements, it's going to come across more as a complaint than a blaming. Instead of you didn't, you always, you never, we're saying this still looks like what it does. We agreed that you would take care of that. Could you please do that? There's a big difference between that complaint and blaming. So in a soft startup, you want to bring the complaint without also blaming. Because as soon as you start attacking or accusing or blaming, you're usually met with defensiveness and the conflict escalates. Key number two is describe, don't judge whether we know it or not, sometimes we probably mean to, but whether we know it or not, a lot of times when we're bringing up a complaint, there, there is judgment, there is contempt behind that thing. We are, we have already decided that 
uh, we're assuming the worst of our spouse and with it comes judgment on whatever the issue might be. So what we need to do is instead of bringing judgment, we need to describe what we're seeing or experiencing or feeling without the judgment coming along with it, right? So uh, judgment might look something like this. You never help out with the kids. I have to always do the work. You never clean or help out around the house, right? There's there's judgment behind that, that you're maybe you're lazy, you don't do stuff, you don't pitch in, you don't carry your own weight, as opposed to describing what I'm seeing and experiencing so that they can understand it. Feels like I'm the one chasing the baby around the house most today, right? That's I'm describing, I'm not making any judgment, I'm describing the situation or uh, it seems like I'm the only one cleaning up the kitchen tonight after dinner. Uh, could you please help me with that, right? So there's a big difference between I'm describing what I'm experiencing. Seems like we're at this birthday party. I'm the only one chasing around our two-year-old. They're sitting over there chatting with their friends, drinking. But if I say, you ever going to watch the kid or you never watch the kid? Or are you just going to sit with your buddies over there as opposed to I feel like I'm the one chasing around? So you describe the situation that's happening without casting judgment on the other person's motive uh, or their character or whatever else you might want to throw in the system. So describe, don't judge. A third key to a soft startup is deliver, don't dump. Here's our tendency, especially for those of you like me who generally avoid conflict. If you avoid conflict and suppress stuff and it's still bugging you at some point, you're going to unload. But when you unload, it's not going to be one complaint. It's going to be a whole host of complaints. And the problem is oftentimes we don't say anything, don't say anything, don't say anything. And then when we bring things up, we bring a ton of things up. And here's the reality. Another person cannot work on too many different things at one time. So if I'm going to unload five, six, ten things on you that are bothering me, complaints I have, issues I have, I'm not serving either one of us well because you're going to be frustrated and overwhelmed and I'm going to be frustrated because you're not going to be able to handle five to ten things. So at the end of the day, my guess is going to be, oh, you just don't want to work on these things. The reality is you could probably work on one, maybe two. You can't work on five or ten. So we need to deliver our complaints in real time as they go along. If you choose to overlook an offense, great. That's part of marriage. And if you're a Christian, that's biblical. We don't need to bring up every single thing. But if I'm going to overlook, 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 and I'm really building resentment, that's not a healthy way to approach. And then others of you, you're the ones that don't say anything. But then when your spouse brings something up, you're like, oh, I wasn't going to say anything. But now that you're bringing something up, pff, here's 15 things that I've been sitting on that now you can deal with as well. I'm going to call a flag on the play on that one. One of my foundational beliefs about marriage is, or I would say maybe it's a foundational principle about marriage, is when a spouse brings an issue up, you do not get to return with the issues of your own in that moment. So that's not fair. If, if you choose to overlook and not say anything, that's your choice. But when they bring something up, you don't now get to go back and grab the things that you decided not to bring up and bring up at that time. That doesn't work that way that invalidates, dismisses, and minimizes what they brought up because you're like, here's 57 things, and it's not fair and helpful to the conversation. So whoever brings the issue up, stay on that issue. If you really do have some other issues, bring them up another time. You don't get to bring them up in that moment. So there are three keys to the soft startup so that you can hopefully not begin with a negative startup and end with a negative situation. So what are we going to do? <laughs> we're going to deliver stuff. We're not going to dump it. We're going to describe it. We're not going to judge. And we're going to complain without blaming. And I know some of you are sitting there going, oh, that's great. That's cute. Yeah, okay, so what do I do if I try the soft startup and my spouse is still defensive, still attacks back, then maybe respond with something like, I'm not trying to criticize you. I care about you. How would you like me to bring an issue to you? Put the ball back in their court. I need to be able to bring up issues in our relationship. How would you like me to bring it up so that you would be willing to receive it? Put the ball back in their court. See if they can brainstorm or come up with some solutions. If they can't, then what I would recommend is what I recommend for every couple. So this is a, an added fourth thought. If you don't have a regular business meeting, staff meeting, a time regularly at least once a week where this is the time you know you're going to bring stuff up, 
you probably already struggle to bring things up. I think just having a regular time consistently, intentionally, where we know this is a time where we can bring up, give and receive feedback in our relationship, and I've done entire videos on the business side of marriage, and I'll tag one of those at the end to understand the staff meeting and how that works. But just having a selected time when you're gonna have a difficult conversation already increases the chance that it will go better than if you just decide to have it when your spouse isn't ready for it, right after dinner on some random Tuesday night when they're not in a space to be able to receive it. So not only use the keys to the soft startup, but if you add also doing it at a specific time during your staff meeting or business meeting, the combination of those two will greatly increase the chance that you will be able to talk about issues, bring complaints to each other without them escalating and getting out of hand. That's the soft startup, and that is how you can remove yourself from that 80% prediction that six years down the road you might be divorced because you cannot manage complaints without them escalating. So drop a comment, love to hear your thoughts on this below. Again, if you need some help in the Department of Communication, Conflict Resolution, check out the link below. I'm doing a free live masterclass. I'm gonna be doing this weekly for a little while. And so every Thursday night, you'll have a chance to jump in there and uh, get some good feedback. I'll see you next time right back here on Relationships.